Not too long ago, I made a video about how Mr. Beast and Penguin Zero were polar opposite YouTubers because Mr. Beast has a whole team behind his productions and pours tons of money into his videos, while Charlie just sits in his room and comments on one topic or another. I finally have a category name thanks to Colin and Samir where they talk about the concept of idea-based creators versus relationship-based creators. So the concept with an idea-based creator is the content is all rooted in the idea. So I jumped in a pool of sharks, that's an idea, right? And like, you might be interested in watching that regardless of who the creator is, because the idea is interesting. On the other side is a relationship-based creator who is someone who can upload themselves going to the store and millions of people will watch because they're just interested in the relationship they have with that creator. And it's super dependent on that creator. You're not going to watch just anyone go to the store. It has to be that person because you feel like you have a connection with that person. And Emma is one of those creators. You look in her comments and people say that she's like their big sister. Right? Mm -hmm. Like that's how they feel about Emma Chamberlain. Now, Emma Chamberlain, a vlogger, is a completely relationship-based creator because the videos are all about her and what she's thinking or doing. Charlie, I think, is a hybrid. He's kind of a news channel as well as a relationship-based creator. He's always commenting on new things that not everyone knows about. Yes, people click on his videos to see what he has to say about a topic, but people often click to find out what he's talking about in the first place. When I look at vloggers like Emma, that's just not something I'm interested in doing. I'm not willing to carry a camera around with me filming everything I do. Not that there's much to film anyways. Charlie's my inspiration, as some of you will know, largely because I'm willing to sit in front of my computer and record videos like most of his recent videos. The thing that Emma and Charlie have going for them is their personality. Some find Emma so relatable and others love Charlie's dry, absurd humor. What I saw on Twitter was far stinkier than whatever I was putting into that godforsaken toilet bowl. Another thing is I think they're both masters at stream of consciousness. They're just so good at articulating exactly what they think and feel about anything. I did hear of an exercise to improve at this and that's recording yourself talking for 10 minutes every day. Yeah, this is a skill that you can build and develop and you just have to like go to the gym and do it over and over again. For an exercise here, while we're on the topic of practice, I thought I would give a little prompt, something that you can do to develop this skill for yourself. For the next week, I challenge you to sit down every day in front of your camera, and if you don't have a camera in front of your phone or webcam, and to speak about something that you're interested in, that you care about for a minimum of 10 minutes. You must hit record, okay? It must actually be recorded. You must actually see the blinking red light. You do not actually have to edit these, and you definitely do not actually have to post them and share them online. I just want you to get used to sitting in front of the camera and talking. Like, just get that muscle going. And I have done this for a few days, but I haven't been doing it consistently. I should get on that. Just looking through my past videos, some of them are idea-based, but most of them seem to be relationship-based. So now I know the category I'm in. I'm way more of a relationship-based creator than an idea-based creator. I also stumbled upon this quote, at a certain point, growth becomes more about consistency than creativity. I think that's fantastic encouragement for creators like me who are struggling to come up with new video ideas. It doesn't have to be great, just make something and keep making something. Anyways, I appreciate that Emma and Charlie are examples of how you don't have to be an idea-based creator like Mr. Beast and Mark Rober to succeed, although it does seem like idea-based creators have much bigger potential in terms of wide reach of audience. If you want to hear me talk about why Charlie is so special, here's my video on how does Penguin Zero do it.